Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a eyebrow tutorial and this is exciting because this is like one of the most requested videos that I have heard from a lot of the people who view my videos. So it's here and also my head wrap, we made another debut, you know what I'm saying? So a disclaimer before I get started with this video, all eyebrows are not created equal. I'm sorry to say, but they are not. I actually shave off the tails of my eyebrows just so I can achieve a higher arch when I do my eyebrows in the morning or at night, wherever I go. This is how I do my eyebrows. And also in this video, I'm going to use not only name brand products, I'm also going to show you dupes and inexpensive brands as well. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, stay classy, stay cute. I'm gonna stop talking, let's get into this video. So as you can see, ladies and gents, I just got finished taking off my old eyebrows, my Monday eyebrows. So I know a lot of you heard me say a dupe. So what is a dupe? So I'm gonna show you a couple of dupes and products that are similar or I guess the same as the name brand items, okay. You want to always have a sharpened pencil when you do your eyebrows because this is going to achieve the best look for you. So I'm going to groom my arch. This is with a pencil. You want to raise your eyebrow up so you can achieve a arch. And you're just going to kind to follow your eyebrow like that pull above the eyebrow depending on how thick and you want to trace down and then I'm gonna draw like so color that in and this is why you groom your eyebrows so they can lay flat and you want to stop closer to the end and you see you still have some space here and I'm just going to use the spoiling and brush and make it look natural that way so this is kind of high so this is why you tend to see people kind of use their finger to narrow the tail of your eyebrow. So if it's too high, like kind of what I did, you can do that. And then I'm just going to define my line, upper and lower. So with the next eyebrow, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Dip Brow Pomade. And I live by and swear by anything Anastasia. Like, I love her. If you're watching, just know that I love you, girl. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush, number 119. And I bought this from Target. And I believe this was like $2. So as you can see, the tip is angled. And this is really good for eyebrows. I also own a brush that has a spoilie on one side and the angle brush on the other. And this came in a brush kit that I ordered on Amazon. So I'm gonna use my Target brush. And I'm going to dip. So you're gonna broom, broom. I cannot talk. You're gonna groom your eyebrows. Start at the bottom. I'm just gonna go above. Do the same. And this is thick also. So it comes on really nice. Then I wanna use my spoilie. Go to the part where it's empty that you don't see any eyebrow color. And I'm going to brush it. So it can look as natural as possible. 
So if you want to clean up your eyebrows and conceal them under and sometimes over and make sure you blend that with foundation, this is how you do that. This is an eyeshadow primer as well as a concealer pencil. Go under your eyebrow and just line up under your eyebrow. And this is also gonna be good for when you apply eyeshadow as well. So this is a flat eyeshadow brush and this is also a Target brush by Sonia Kashuk. You're just going to blend in the concealer under the eye. And if you like, you can do the same thing up top, but I really don't think that's necessary. But if you are gonna do it over your eyebrow, please make sure that whatever foundation you use, you apply that over top of the concealer. If you really don't use concealer at all, make sure you do the same method with foundation and it's just as good. And that's even better because it's gonna be the same color as your skin and your foundation. And this here is a dupe. This is a Wet n Wild pencil, which is just like the Anastasia, almost the same shade. And you can also use this to conceal your eyebrows and clean them up. You can always do the go-to that everybody loves, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So these are your two options. So since I use the pencil on this side, I'm going to use the concealer on the other side. So since it has a brush, it's going to be really easy to apply. So you're just going to apply it under. And unlike the pencil, since this is a lot thicker, I don't need to spread it across when I use the brush here. I'm just going to blend it. Like I always tell you, don't be afraid to use your fingers. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna add some foundation so the look can kind of look together. So you can see how your eyebrows look when you have a complete face. All right, and I'm back. So I did a quick little something, something. You can see what happens with your face or your look after you add the foundation and the whole nine. You can see that the concealer is pretty scary in the beginning because it's so light. But after you, you know, apply everything else, you're good to go. But like I said, if you don't want to use concealer under the eye and um, it's a little too much, you don't have to. And also, instead of you using something lighter, you can use the regular foundation that you use for the rest of your face to kind of um, clean up under your eyebrow and over your eyebrow as well. So here's the finished look. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills side. And this is the Dupe Wet n Wild Pencil and LA Girl Pro Concealer side. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. You can write down in the comments. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.